Today we're going to be discussing a very unusual discovery, and actually a somewhat difficult to explain discovery, of a tremendously large cosmological structure. A structure so big that it shouldn't exist. But before we start, and before I explain to you what was discovered, let me actually just show you how tremendously large this structure would be. Honestly, I don't even know where to start with this, but okay, this is the Milky Way galaxy, roughly around 100,000 light years across. This is a Milky Way galaxy from roughly around 1 million light years away. This is a Milky Way galaxy from the Andromeda galaxy, approximately 2.5 million light years away. Now okay, imagine this, but 1000 times bigger. So it would be very very difficult to physically imagine this, but it would be something like this. And that's actually the size of the unusual structure that was discovered back in 2021 that the researchers referred to as the Giant Arc, an extremely dense galactic cluster that's basically connected into one gravitationally bound structure. If we could see it, it would look something like this, and it would be approximately 3.3 billion light years across. Discovered by a PhD student Alexia Lopez, basically more or less by accident. And though it might not seem strange at first, it sort of violates what's known as the cosmological principle, the idea that the universe should be maybe a little bit simpler, and that it should be more or less the same no matter where we look. And more importantly, we sort of expect the matter to be more or less evenly distributed everywhere. And so we shouldn't really detect super large structures anywhere in the universe, at least for now. Things might grow larger and larger with time, but because the universe is only 13.8 billion years old, nothing larger than approximately 1.2 billion light years across should exist. This size limit was calculated based on our knowledge of the universe, and it was violated pretty quickly. Mostly because these large structures were discovered all over the place. But at first they weren't super large. Then, in 2021, this giant arc basically beat the limit by three times. And there was no explanation for how this was possible or why these galaxies were gravitationally linked to one another. But naturally this discovery could have been interpreted in different ways. For example, maybe these galaxies are not really connected and are just aligned in this way completely by accident. Or maybe this is just a result of something else we don't really understand very well, such as the mysterious cosmic web. Either way though, this was two years ago. But the main researcher, Alexia Lopez, along with her partners, did not stop looking and actually discovered something else extremely recently that's even more exciting and more unusual. Oh, the first, let me tell you how all of this was done, because it's also kind of important. Because unfortunately, by just looking into outer space, we're not going to suddenly start seeing these large structures or a connection between various galaxies unless we use specific techniques. And the technique here relies on quasars, galaxies with extremely powerful supermassive black holes in the middle that in essence emit a lot of light toward us, with light traveling for billions of years, sometimes almost from the edges of the universe. And today we know of a lot of quasars out there. A lot of them have been studied quite extensively, and here's actually just some of the new ones released by the Japanese scientists not so long ago. But the thing about quasar light is that it tends to pass through various objects, and as it passes through, for example, gas, it sort of changes the overall spectrum that's coming from the quasar itself. For example, it might pass through hydrogen or helium and thus produce certain spectra. And if you have enough of these quasars across the night skies, you can actually then start detecting a lot of invisible things because the quasar light will pass through it and thus change its spectrum. And this is how scientists have been discovering a lot of things out there. Especially things that might be a little bit difficult to see, such as gas potentially connecting galaxies to one another. And so by looking at specific absorption spectra coming from distant quasars, specifically using magnesium-2 absorption spectrum, here the researchers discovered that giant arc. But now they found something even cooler. They found a large donut, or I guess a large circle. Although at least for now it's referred to as the big ring. And as you can see in this case, it seems to be in a similar location, somewhat similar in size, over here the diameter is about 1.3 billion light years, and located at a very similar distance of about 9.2 billion light years away from planet Earth, making this the second such enormous structure located in the same region, and once again sort of beyond the expected limit, to some extent once again challenging modern cosmology. 
And once again, just to give you an idea of how big this is, if you were to look in the night skies, and if you were to look at the full moon, this structure would be at least 15 times larger. I mean, assuming you could actually see it. Here, because this is all galaxies and a lot of gas, it would be very difficult to see this in anything but maybe radio light. And even though both of these structures sort of create a major problem for cosmology, when put together in this location, they create an even bigger mystery or a bigger problem. There is absolutely no explanation for how they formed. Neither their shape nor size is easy to explain if we consider modern astrophysics. And since they are so close to one another, currently it sort of makes no sense. But there was one potential explanation for that big ring. It's related to the concept known as BAO, Baryon Acoustic Oscillations. Essentially huge bubbles produced by density waves that modern cosmologists believe formed extremely early in the universe. And all of this was a result of gravity interacting with early matter, producing an equivalent of spherical sound waves in a very similar manner to what you see right here. The circular ripples produced by the rock falling in the water represent a very good symbolic analogy for this bow phenomenon. And if you actually want to learn a little bit more about this, check out one of the videos in the description that actually talks about a recent discovery of an incredibly large structure very close to us that is potentially one of these bowels. The link should be somewhere right there. And so anyway, these bowels are predicted to exist and they're expected to create circular shapes. And so maybe this is exactly what we have here as well. But the problem here is the size. This here is at least three times as big. And moreover, it does not appear to be truly spherical or truly circular. So it doesn't really fit this explanation very well. And if not baryonic oscillations, then what else could it be? Intriguingly, quite a few alternative cosmological models might provide certain answers. For example, one of the propositions by Roger Penrose is what's known as conformal cyclic cosmology. The idea that the universe might physically go through several big bangs one after another with a long period of nothingness in between them. In other words, he proposes that cosmology might be cyclical and big bangs might happen over and over. And there is a slight possibility that maybe this is one of these rings that could serve as the evidence for this. Way too early to tell, but it's a possibility. Alternatively, it could be some kind of a defect in the space-time itself, for example, what's known as the cosmic string. A kind of a crack in the universe itself that can actually form unusual observations from a distance. They've never been physically seen, but they have been proposed by a lot of cosmologists. And so some of these cosmic strings could force certain galaxies to be distributed in a certain way. And in this case, they might have formed a circle, whereas the other nearby string formed a long arc. But at this point, all of these are just speculations. The reality is that nobody knows what these are, how they formed, or what exactly this means for modern cosmology. Or well, the one thing that's certain is that modern cosmology definitely cannot explain any of this. And so some things will have to change. And so even though just the sheer size of these objects was already difficult to explain, their proximity takes this mystery to a completely new level. With the overall distance suggesting that they must have formed when the universe was only about half its current age. And so this is not something that potentially existed from the beginning, but also suggesting that maybe even more similar objects will be found in the next few years. Because it seems that these structures are maybe a little bit more common than we thought, and so once the third such object is discovered, this is where we definitely have to start thinking about why and how this was formed. And so once more similar objects are found, we may finally have some clues. But at the moment, there's really no explanation whatsoever. And so until that explanation, check out some of the previous videos in the description, including the video about this unusual arc, or videos about other structures. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support the channel on Patreon by joining channel membership, or by buying a wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye bye.